Hello friends, it's Eugenia from Art Mel Time is Atelier and today I'm so excited that um, I got my uh, John Haynes Master Artist Set, Daniel Smith from Daniel Smith. Uh, I'm very excited to use it. I have already poured some uh, uh, paint on uh, my uh, on, on, on these wells here. Uh, yeah, this one is the um, the metallic ones, but uh, I'm not going to use them today. Uh, I will play with those ones as much as I can. And if I need uh, some extras that I might need some blues, because there's no blues here. I have, um, I've done this, this little swatch and um, yeah, there, there are some nice greens, like olive greens beautiful uh yellow and the aussie red uh, gold which is very orange really nice colors um beautiful purples beautiful um dark moody um shades the moon glow and the lunar blue i love them and the under the sea green but um yeah there's no uh blues so i am I took out my uh, Daniel Smith uh, mixing uh, set and the gemstones, but I won't use the gemstones. So, yeah, I, I don't think so. I will um, mainly on the uh, mixing set, and um, and I will attempt a, an autumn uh, landscape. Um, on the side of a lake now i cannot put the photo on um, i cannot attach the photo unfortunately because uh oh, i downloaded it from uh, the um, free reference photos for our artists on the facebook group that i am a member so i haven't asked for permission so uh, i am allowed to use it for painting and uh, i can show you my painting but i cannot uh, Put the the image so what I have done uh, my little sketch here I have uh, attached it as a printable um, uh, file at the description below and you can uh, go and download it and if, if you want a, a rough um, um, understanding of what uh, it will follow um otherwise you just make your own uh, own sketch you just uh, screenshot my finished painting and try to do some sketching from then um or you can create your own uh, landscape that's there's no rules i uh, just do follow the similar steps but with your own uh, landscape that will be great too um, so uh, I have masked my uh, paper on uh, my board uh, I'm using my recycle uh, masking uh, the reason I do, do it uh, it is um, only because it doesn't stick as much and it comes off easily but it still does the job and, uh, and keeps clean my edges and um, that's why so I, I use it a couple of times till it gets really bad and then I throw it uh, then uh, I'm using the cold press I believe I bought cold press didn't I yeah cold press uh, Strathmore 500 series uh, watercolor paper 5x7 100% cotton uh, I really like them they're uh, as quality paper uh, I'm really, really satisfied with it and um, <clears throat> In terms of size, it is perfect to fit it on uh, on a frame, on a standard frame. So, um, yeah, it's great. Sometimes, if uh, it depends on the frame, make sure that uh, you might need to not to leave too much uh, uh, white border, as I have done here. Maybe I should just try to keep the minimum. Because sometimes the frames that we are uh, looking uh, are a bit um, wider or just. <laughs> and then you have to go and repaint 
your edges. It did happen to me, obviously. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> um, or if you just uh, make prints and put on a frame, then you don't worry about the size. This is only if you want to frame the original. So, see? Oh, I can stick it on, on and off as many times as I want without lifting anything. Okay, so I've got my two jars of clean water. I have grabbed uh, this uh, Princeton Neptune um, dagger and my hummingbird one. <laughs> it's it's not called calm there. I'm calling them hummingbirds because it's a so long point and it's um. It's, uh, it's very fine so it reminds me hummingbird for some reason <laughs> uh, and then I will uh, I will get my liner uh, just in case I need it normally I do and uh, I should just get I should just get one of those stiffer uh, brushes just to lift some pigment so let's um moist our palette oh, I sh I th these ones are not really dry so i don't have to okay and um let's start with uh, some general washes and placing uh, colors in certain areas this point um i put all the i have mapped in general my colors i've done general washes and um now i will let it rest um, and once it's dried up i will come back and continue with the next um layer so now it's all dried up <laughs> uh, waited a little bit longer than what I expected but um, anyway now it's uh, all nice and dry uh, you probably hear the background the the heating on <laughs> it's because it's the unit is up here so very cold and um, yeah there is a background noise <laughs> for the moment um, so, yeah, sorry for that. You're gonna have to put up with that. <laughs> and um, I will start uh, putting some darks here, there for indicating the the trees. And soon I'm gonna start putting the foliage.
creative friends i think i am uh, very close to completing uh, this painting i have um, used uh, a few different brushes and especially the this <laughs> that are made for um to to make uh, to create uh, um grass lines and um or fair uh, it does do a very good job with the lines and also with um, um, it does a very good job also with um, flowers so I won't put any more I think I have uh, done enough there uh, I have a video that it shows how to, to make this uh, brush it's very simple you just need some um, masking fluid and uh, you're pretty set <laughs> and an old brush obviously <laughs> you need an old brush and some masking fluid and you're done <laughs> um, and now, so they're very useful I have to admit um so oh, wh wh where am i using this brush now this, i want fine lines where's my fine line oh, there it is um just a little bit of neutral tint just to highlight some darks so they don't look all uh, flat and to come a little bit forward last ones that are very close to us so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like it <laughs> and um subscribe if you haven't uh, we'll be doing lots of different interesting paintings techniques um different products and different mediums we'll be using lots of experimenting uh, so yes, subscribe and um, don't forget to click the notification bell because every time we uh, upload a video you get a notification and it shows also what kind of video it is so if you're interested you can come and watch it if not, wait for the next one no dramas and um Yeah, by the way, it's very cold here in Australia right now. And here at the, at the Arctic I am, it's not, um, it's not heated. <laughs> I've got a heater here for the whole house, but there's not heater heating up here. Anyway, uh, so I have to wear my jacket. You probably see my jacket. <laughs> uh, you see my hand. With this thick puffy jacket um yeah so i think that's enough with the neutral thing too because i can uh, go a little bit too much i can do too much you know how it goes less is small and i never um stick to that rule You see the lines uh, creates really nice brush very natural and very quickly too <laughs> most important right uh, so yeah that is my favorite brush right now 
it was uh, I was meant to throw it but yeah we found another use and I think it's this time to unmask and oh, I saw this beautiful clean lines border sorry I said also it is late at night now and um, <laughs> so I'm thinking something different and I'm saying that something different Uh, yeah, so I forgot to also to mention that the, uh, towards the end for the white and for a little bit on the water, I used a little bit of gouache, white gouache. And um, it's uh, normally always do towards the end. And let's put my initials. I can't forget them. Because, yay, it's me, I created this masterpiece today and probably tomorrow I won't like it, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, it always happens. Uh, two things can happen with a painting. Or you make it and you don't like it and then you go back and you look at it a little bit later and you actually find some interesting parts and you start liking it. Or you like it and then you go back and look at it and say, oh no, what did I like from this? <laughs> um, yep, it could be that happening to me too. It happens sometimes, I have to admit. And it's very hard for me to put my brushes down. Come on, somebody take the brush off my hand. Hmm. Yeah, because the the watercolors drying up a little bit lighter, and my dark darks they're not dark darks anymore. That's why. Okay. Hopefully they will stay dark this time. I'm trying to put a lot of pigment so it, it holds its darkness. Yeah, it should be alright. <sighs> And then, really, really, I should put a little bit light colors on this side too. Not everywhere. Some spots. Yeah, of course, squash. Always in the heart to put it away. <laughs> Some irregular highlights. Okay, and just to show you quickly what I was talking uh, about before with this brush, and just dab it with a uh, gouache, maybe put too much, and then just touch, and all of a sudden we have a um, Some white flowers. Oh, 
Well, that's how I've bought also some yellow, some orange. Really, really nice marks here in no time. This is my favorite. Uh, one of my favorites, okay. <laughs> A very good invention. So, thank you again very much for watching me, and hopefully, I will see you soon at my next video. Till then. Be happy, be creative, and keep painting. Bye for now.